On this episode of AMA Air, we'll learn about an exciting announcement that was made at AMA Expo East 2019. Also, find out how you can make your aircraft compliant with new government regulations. And we'll learn about a popular annual camp held at AMA headquarters. All that and more on this episode of AMA Air. Hello and welcome to AMA Air, your source for modeling news. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Claire Aldenheisen. Six people have been announced as the recipients of the 2018 Carl and Beth Goldberg Vital People Award. Those chosen for the honor are Gogan Yee, John Hakala, Jack Iafret, Lori and Terry Wiles, and Reggie Hall. The award recipients are nominated by fellow modelers who want to recognize those who go above and beyond to support model aviation, their clubs, and other aero modelers. If you would like to nominate someone for the 2019 award, visit modelaircraft.org forward slash Goldberg dash award. The AMA Model Aviation Hall of Fame is one of the greatest honors that AMA members can receive. Some noteworthy past recipients include Neil Armstrong, Walt Billet, Hal DeBolt, Paul K. Gillow, and Phil Kraft. If you've never nominated someone for this award, consider doing so by March 31st, 2019. You can find a nomination form and view a list of past recipients on modelaircraft.org slash AMA-Hall-Fame. An Australian company is teaming up with the University of North Dakota's aviation program in hopes of using unmanned aircraft and software to track bees in the United States. Bee Innovative of Australia wants to implement the company's BDAR technology, which is a facial recognition type software for bees, to track bee movement and pollination patterns in real time. The software could be installed in unmanned aircraft and tested in North Dakota as soon as this summer. Well, last month, we told you that a big announcement would be made at AMA Expo East. And as promised, the cat's out of the bag. If you couldn't make it to Expo, we want to share some of that news with you. AMA is excited to announce the AMA EAA Build and Fly program. This new program is a partnership between AMA clubs, Experimental Aircraft Association chapters, SIG Manufacturing, and Horizon Hobby. Through the initiative, clubs receive a kit that includes a 70-inch SIG E-Cadet LT40 that will be powered by a 40-size electric motor and controlled by a four-channel spectrum radio. Also in the box is a ready-to-fly night vapor, a real-fly RC simulator, and an educational handbook. The goal of the program is to keep youth interested in model and full-scale aviation and to create an opportunity for EAA chapters and AMA clubs to work together. EAA chapters that want to get involved will need a volunteer program coordinator, a build location, a local AMA club, a computer to run the Real Flight 8 flight simulator, and money for the kit. Coming up, find out how and where to place your FAA registration number on your aircraft. And still ahead, take a look at some upcoming events and learn how you can find one near you. Pack your bags and prepare for takeoff to Camp AMA. From the time they get here to the time they leave, we're always going, we're always doing some of the fun building, whether it's they've learned a new maneuver. But it's not just about flying. It's really just about having fun for the entire week. For more information on Camp AMA, visit amaflightschool.org slash Camp AMA today. The Middle Point RC Flyers will hold their 25th annual swap meet March 16th at the National Guard Armory in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Admission is $5 and there will be a raffle. Gathering of the Giants 2019 will take place March 16th and 17th at the Cape Coral RC Hawksfield in Cape Coral, Florida. Visitors will enjoy giant gas airplanes flying 3D, jets, helicopters, a flight simulator, and a candy drop for the kids. For the fourth year, the Westerville Model Aeronautics Association show and swap meet will take place at the Northland Performing Arts Center in Columbus, Ohio. The March 16th event will feature a static competition, swap tables, cash prizes, and hourly raffle drawings. The 31st Vintage Stunt Championships will take place March 19th through the 23rd in Tucson, Arizona. The multi-day control line aerobatics competition celebrates the heyday of control line stunt. 
If you love foamies and you're not scared to race them, consider attending FEAR, a foamy electric air racing event hosted by the Bomber Field RC Club on March 23rd. There will be warbird, sport, and trainer classes at this Texas event. The 10th annual Cumberland, Maryland Spring Soaring event is March 30th and 31st. Pilots can enjoy flying sailplanes from an open, well-groomed mountain meadow with a spectacular view. For more information on these events or to find one in your area, you can check out the sanctioned event calendar in Model Aviation or at modelaircraft.org slash event dash calendar. Still ahead, learn about new requirements for FAA registration numbers. For decades, across generations, modelers have come together to compete and push the boundaries of flight. This summer, that tradition continues. Witness history at the National Era Modeling Championships. The FAA now requires that aero modeling pilots registered with the FAA post their registration numbers on the outside of their aircraft. Let's find out more. In this presentation, I will be going over how to find your FAA registration number via the FAA Drone Zone web portal and how you can affix it to your aircraft in order to comply with the new FAA requirements. As of February 25th, 2019, the FAA requires that your registration number should be placed on the outside of your aircraft and can be visible upon visual inspection of your aircraft. First, let's take a look at FAADroneZone.FAA.gov. This is the official web portal for the FAA UAS registration process. If you've never gone through this registration process before, this is where you will register yourself as a UAS pilot by clicking register next to Fly Model Aircraft under Section 336. To register, you must be 13 years or older and have a valid email address. Registration costs $5 and is good for three years, and you will receive one identification number for all the aircraft that you own. Now we strongly advise to avoid registering your model aircraft anywhere but at the official FAA website. Please be aware of unofficial registration websites that charge exorbitant fees or require separate registration fees for each recreational aircraft. Once you've completed your registration, or if you've already registered, you can log into your account by clicking the Login button at the top of the page. You will need to agree to the FAA's system use notice and will be taken to a login screen. Simply enter your email address and FAA Drone Zone password in the fields provided. If you can't remember your password, click on the Forgot Password link to reset it. You'll be emailed instructions on how to reset your password at that time. After you successfully logged in, your dashboard will be present on the screen. On the left, you'll see a box with a blue section on top. Here you'll see your FAA registration number along with the date it was issued and the date that it will expire. You can easily print out this information or you can write it down by hand, but either way, it's important to keep this somewhere that you can easily access it. And once you have your registration number, you can place it on your aircraft. Now where you place it is completely up to you, however it cannot be hidden under any doors or hatches. To comply with FAA regulations, it must be able to be seen upon visual inspection of the aircraft's exterior. Painter's masking tape is one solution for those who want to preserve the integrity of the aircraft. You may also use a label maker or permanent marker. As long as it's visible, you're good to go. And that's all there is to it to comply with the FAA's new requirements for registration number placement on your aircraft. Happy flying! For more information about the new FAA requirements, visit FAA.gov or modelaircraft.org forward slash gov. Still ahead, find out about a camp designed for young pilots of all skill levels. Every journey starts somewhere. Our journey begins with imagination. And imagination can take us anywhere.
because the best journeys end with new beginnings. Each year, young pilots of all skill levels come to the International Aeromodeling Center in Muncie, Indiana for a fun week-long event called Camp AMA. Registration for this year's camp is currently open. You can register and learn more at amaflightschool.org slash camp AMA. Camp AMA time is one of my favorite times of the year here at headquarters because it's, it's so fun. It's so fun <laughs> to see all these young pilots here. And they're so passionate. They are. I love it. They are. They're making new friendships. They're mm -hmm. spending all day out there flying and just having a great time. I love it when they're here. You know, one of my favorite things that they do is build airplanes out of pizza boxes. Yes, I know. The first time I saw that, I thought that was like the coolest thing it's ever. It's so much fun and it, it appeals so much to a teenager. I mean, you get to eat pizza and then build an and airplane out of the box. <laughs> what could be better? Nothing. <laughs> That's all for this episode of AMA Air. You can stay connected with us by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For even more videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And from all of us here at AMA, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, but for now, it's time to get flying.